Close your eyes for a moment. Picture a jet soaring thousands of feet above the Earth, cruising smoothly through the quiet blue. Suddenly, darkness consumes the once clear skies as the aircraft crosses an invisible boundary between calm and chaos. Flashes of lightning rip through the night, illuminating thick walls of clouds. The roar of rain pounds against the cockpit windows, while the aircraft shakes with the unpredictable rhythm of turbulence, each jolt reminding everyone on board of nature's awesome power. Now imagine being the one in charge. Behind that locked cockpit door, two pilots focus intently on glowing screens and flickering buttons, their voices steady and calm, their minds racing. There's no option to turn back, no room for error. You're the pilot, and a thunderstorm stands between you and your destination. The very moment you've trained for countless hours is here, and every decision counts. These moments, though rare, are the ultimate test of skill, preparation, and trust in technology. What is it really like to face nature's fury in the air? What do pilots see, and what are they doing to ensure the plane safely weaves through the storm? That's what we're uncovering today. But this isn't just about numbers and technical jargon. This story goes deeper than the science of thunderstorms or the engineering marvels that enable planes to endure them. It's about human experience, the tension, the focus, and the awe of flying through the heart of a storm. We'll step into the cockpit, experience the turbulence, and learn how pilots keep us all safe. Stay with us as we journey into the secrets of thunderstorm flying, from blinding flashes on the radar screen to the composed voices making life-saving decisions amidst swirling clouds. We. To understand the challenge, we first need to understand the threat. Thunderstorms are not just showers of heavy rain. They're volatile engines of nature, complex and powerful, Let's break it down. It all begins when sun-warmed air near the ground rises quickly and hits cooler air above. If there's enough moisture, this rising air forms towering clouds. Cumulonimbus, the true giants of the sky. Some of these clouds grow as tall as Mount Everest. Inside, chaos takes over. The updrafts, columns of warm air, can be fast enough to toss a plane like a toy. Downdrafts, which are cold air rushing downward, can push against the wings, create sudden altitude changes, and make the ride rough. Moisture condenses and freezes in the frigid heights, forming not just rain and hail, but fueling an electrical ballet that produces spectacular lightning. A thunderstorm is a world of extremes. Temperatures can swing wildly within the same cell. Winds shear horizontally or vertically, and yet within all this, there's a rhythm, a life cycle that starts with cumulus clouds, grows into maturity with thunder, lightning, and heavy rain, and finally decays, sometimes spawning new storms nearby. Pilots learn to read these stages because each one means different risks in the air. Most passengers in the cabin see only rain on the window or an occasional flash outside. But for pilots, these are signals, warnings and opportunities that it's time to apply every skill and tool they possess. Step inside the cockpit and you enter the nerve center of the flight. When a plane nears a thunderstorm, the environment instantly changes. Visibility out the windshield can drop to almost nothing. Mist, clouds, sometimes a blinding curtain of rain all obscuring the horizon. Lightning is not just a distant flash. It can streak across the sky right in front of the aircraft, splitting the darkness with dazzling intensity. Imagine the surreal beauty and quiet terror of seeing a silent bolt illuminate the clouds, knowing you and your passengers are surrounded by this electric theater. Sound is another layer. Rain or hail might hammer the outer skin of the fuselage so loudly that it drowns out even the engines. In these moments, pilots must be attuned to every subtle noise, from the normal hum of instruments to the sudden roar that signals heavier precipitation. But there's order within this chaos. 
Modern planes are equipped with sophisticated weather radar mounted on the plane's nose. This radar works like a second set of eyes. It sends out pulses that bounce off raindrops, hail, and even the shape of storm cells, painting a living, color-coded map on cockpit screens. On this screen, green might mean light precipitation, a gentle rain. Yellow means moderate rainfall. Orange and especially red are the true warnings, often indicating the heart of a thunderstorm, where hail and severe turbulence are most likely. Pilots scan these screens continuously, looking for clear paths between danger zones and making rapid calculations about course corrections and altitude changes. Outside the windows, it may look frightening, but in the cockpit, it's all about information and measured decisions. Calm radio conversations with air traffic control add to the sense of focus. Pilots request alternate routes, ask for updated weather scans, and sometimes negotiate with nearby aircraft for the safest passage through crowded airspace. Each decision is grounded in training and experience, yet every flight through a thunderstorm is unique. Some days, a minor detour clears the worst of it. Other times, a chain of storms means pilots must zigzag around multiple cells, extending the flight and demanding full concentration for hours at a time. Humans may command the plane, but technology is their invaluable partner. Modern airliners are packed with innovations specifically designed to handle even the most severe storms. Let's start with the wings. Unlike stiff, brittle structures, airplane wings are incredibly flexible. If you sit over the wing and watch during turbulence, you'll see them flex and bend. A ballet of engineering that absorbs energy from the wind, preventing dangerous vibrations and reducing strain on the aircraft. This flexibility is not by accident. It's a result of decades of design and testing, all focused on keeping flights safe, even in rough weather. The weather radar isn't just displaying what's directly ahead. Advanced systems scan side to side and even tilt vertically, helping pilots understand the three-dimensional world of a storm. Some radars use predictive algorithms to analyze the storm's movement, growth, and potential threats, updating the display constantly as the plane moves forward. But there's more. Many airliners receive near real-time weather updates through data link services, providing pilots with detailed information about not only thunderstorms, but also icing hazards or dangerous wind shear ahead. Autopilot, often misunderstood, becomes crucial in these moments. It's not about letting the computer fly while the pilots rest. Instead, autopilot systems make hundreds of tiny control adjustments every second, smoothing out the ride and keeping the aircraft at the right heading and altitude. In fact, these systems can often react to turbulence faster than any human could, maintaining stability and conserving energy. In moments of high workload, say when rerouting around multiple storms, this precision lets pilots focus on interpreting data and making big picture decisions rather than wrestling the yoke continuously. Let's not forget about lightning. Planes are not immune to being struck, but every commercial airliner is carefully grounded and shielded. The current flows harmlessly along the skin, exiting through wicks on the wingtips or tail. All of these innovations exist for one reason to make sure even the most frightening storm can be met with confidence, not fear. For most people, turbulence is the defining memory of flying through a storm. Moments when the entire plane seems to lurch unpredictably, drinks slosh in their cups, and everyone grabs their armrest a little tighter. But what's really going on? Turbulence is just a change in the flow of air, often from updrafts and downdrafts within a thunderstorm cell. When a plane passes through, it rides over these invisible bumps, much like a boat rides over waves. Most turbulence is completely safe, and airliners are built to handle much more than passengers will ever feel. Pilots are always working to mitigate turbulence. Before the flight even takes off, they review weather reports called SIGMITs and PIREPS. Alerts from meteorologists and pilots about severe turbulence or storms along the route. During the flight, air traffic control keeps them updated with the latest information and can advise on route changes. Imagine a pilot noticing storm cells building ahead. 
Instead of flying straight into the worst part, they might climb or descend to a smoother altitude or make a gradual turn, even if it adds time to the trip. Communication with the cabin crew is essential. Crew members need warning before rough air so they can secure themselves and passengers. Mild turbulence can cause discomfort, but pilots and crew know how to keep everyone safe. Seatbelt signs go on, service pauses, and flight attendants reassure anxious flyers. But in the most extreme cases, rare but possible, turbulence can be so intense that pilots must slow the aircraft's speed, known as the turbulence penetration speed, to prevent excess structural stress. Even then, the aircraft is far from danger, operating well within the safety envelope defined by the engineers who built it. Over the years, thousands of pilots have passed through storm cells, flown through rough air, and landed safely owing to rigorous training and mutual trust between cockpit and cabin. What is it really like for pilots at the controls, watching a storm approach? For many, it's a moment of heightened awareness, adrenaline pumps, but so does calm, practiced focus. Every pilot remembers their first storm as pilot in command. Perhaps it came without warning, an isolated thunderstorm rapidly forming along the route. The captain's voice, steady and controlled, sets the tone. Working together, they analyze radar, confirm altitudes, and make choices. There's no room for guesswork, only for action built on experience. There's also awe. Above the weather, pilots often see the tops of storm clouds catching the last rays of the sun, glowing in purple and gold. At night, flashes of distant lightning create a surreal, silent fireworks show on the cloud tops. Emotions can swing between stress and exhilaration. The stakes are high, but so is the trust in the tools and team. In some moments, calm music plays in the background as the pilots work. In others, it's quiet except for the hum of the systems and the occasional scratch of a pen on a flight log. Good communication between the cockpit and cabin keeps passengers reassured, even if they don't see how much effort goes into every decision. Ladies and gentlemen, you may notice some bumps as we skirt this storm, but rest assured your crew is working closely with air traffic control to keep the ride as smooth and safe as possible. Sometimes those simple words are all it takes to ease tension throughout the cabin. And when the plane finally breaks through the clouds and returns to smoother air, there's an unspoken sense of accomplishment. Another storm faced, another crew and set of passengers delivered safely. Let's hear some real-world experiences and lessons learned from pilots who have confronted storms head-on. Captain Maria, a seasoned commercial airline pilot, recalls a flight over the southeastern United States where a wall of thunderstorms blocked the expected route. Despite planning for weather, the storms intensified, forcing Maria and her co-pilot to weave around multiple cells, coordinate with controllers for limited airspace, and keep passengers informed. The radar screen was a patchwork of vivid colors, guiding them to safety. First Officer Rahul remembers his first time flying through a squall line, a row of storms stretching for miles. As they neared, the sky darkened dramatically. Lightning flashed so close that it felt like flying through a strobe light. But by relying on their instruments and communicating constantly, Rahul's crew steered clear of the worst weather. The sense of shared achievement at the end of that flight was unforgettable. These stories are shared in briefings and simulators, passed down from pilot to pilot. They're not just war stories, but practical guides, helping build confidence and perspective for those who will face future storms. With all these challenges, why is air travel still so safe? The answer is redundancy in every sense, in training, technology, and systems. Every pilot completes hundreds of hours in simulators before flying commercial passengers. Simulators can mimic almost any storm scenario. Sudden turbulence, hail, wind shear, even lightning strikes. Pilots repeat these drills until their responses become second nature. 
Planes themselves are built with multiple fail-safes. If one radar goes out, there's a backup. Hydraulic systems, electrical power, navigation. Everything essential is automatically covered by redundant hardware. Even windshields and critical surfaces are protected by anti-ice systems to battle freezing rain. Airlines and air traffic controllers coordinate constantly, using shared weather data to reroute planes before a storm can trap them. On busy travel days, controllers might shift dozens of aircraft onto new courses in minutes, minimizing time near dangerous cells and prioritizing safety above speed. Lightning strikes? Commercial planes are hit by lightning on average once a year, but the design ensures these strikes pass harmlessly along the fuselage. Pilots feel a loud bang or see a bright flash, but the systems keep ticking without missing a beat. The safety record of modern aviation is a testament to everything learned through decades of stormy flights, relentless research, and a culture of accountability. Investigations of incidents, no matter how minor, are used to rewrite rules, retrain crews, and redesign procedures. If you're a nervous flyer, thunderstorms can be unnerving. The cabin rattles, lights flicker, and it's easy to worry that each shake spells trouble. But from a pilot's viewpoint, each of these moments is met with enormous support and forethought. Cabin crews are trained not only in service, but in spotting signs of anxiety, calming passengers, and ensuring safety protocols are followed. Young travelers, first-timers, or anyone uneasy during storms are quietly reassured with a smile or a gentle word. Did you know most turbulence is completely routine? Professional flyers, from athletes to business executives, learn to dismiss the bumps as part of the journey. Aviation statistics back this up. Turbulence rarely causes injuries, and storms are almost always avoided when possible. If the seatbelt sign lights up, consider it a sign your pilots are on top of things. Stow your tray, fasten your seatbelt, and take solace in the fact that the safest place to be during rough weather is exactly where you are in your seat, benefiting from the expertise of countless dedicated professionals. Technology is advancing every year, and the next generation of pilots will have even more tools at their disposal. New weather satellites offer higher resolution images, helping crews and controllers anticipate trouble hours in advance. Artificial intelligence is being tested to analyze aircraft data and predict turbulence with incredible accuracy, often before it's noticeable by traditional means. Onboard sensors may soon detect changes in air pressure and wind speed down to the smallest detail, automatically alerting pilots to the safest possible path. And with ongoing improvements in training and safety culture, each new storm faced builds an ever safer record for the next generation. The core challenge will always remain to balance human judgment with technological power, meeting every storm with wisdom, preparation, and courage. Flying through a thunderstorm is one of the most dramatic challenges a pilot can face. But behind the blinding flashes and shaking wings is a tapestry of knowledge, technology, and human grit. From the earliest pioneers who braved stormy skies in fragile planes to today's pilots working with sophisticated computers, the journey has always been about pushing boundaries and staying safe. These flights are a testament to what humans can achieve, together, even in the face of nature's fiercest moods. So next time your plane dances through the clouds, remember, you're sharing the sky with professionals who see not just the danger, but the beauty and thrill of every storm. Have you ever experienced a stormy flight? Share your stories in the comments. And while you're here, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more true stories and insights from the front lines of aviation.